think Draco represents the John Cooper School in a lot of ways, but mainly in the energy that Cooper instills in the kids and the spirit. I was inspired to become Draco because I thought this would be a really good activity to get some energy out of me, but I ended up loving it because you get to make people really love where they go to school and have school spirit and school pride in Cooper. Hi, I'm Lucas Frome. I go to the John Cooper School in the Woodlands, and I'm Draco the Dragon. The way this all started was the last mascot, Riley Ellis, who's now an alumni, was talking about it. And he's like, yeah, it's really fun. I think you'd enjoy it. And I'm like, I'm a really energetic person. And so I'm like, that sounds like something I might enjoy. I did it from the end of freshman year and I'm still doing it now and I love it. We gotta get in the Draco skin. All you have to do is zip up the back. You gotta put the pants on, you put them on like that, and they clip in the back here. Put it on the tail, it's the next step in the thing. And then we grab the strap. And we clip it in. So next we have the shirt. You just throw it on. It's a really big shirt. The tail hole goes in the back. Logo goes in the front. So next is Draco's shoes. So to put these on, it's pretty easy. You just slip your foot in. Next, we got our gloves over here. Draco has four fingers and four fingers only. So that gets a little difficult when you're trying to count with people and be like, if they're asking number questions, you get to be like one and four because my five is four to them. Then you're ready for the mask. The helmet in here, that is how you stay stable. You look through the mouth, not the eyes. You put the strap on your chin, you tighten it down, and then you're all ready for the game. And now we're Draco. The shoes are definitely difficult to walk in at first, but I mean, you get used to it after a certain amount of time. Hi, Draco. Great to see you. I think the thing I love most about being the school mascot is how happy it makes people. Yeah. Draco and Lucas are always approachable, especially to our lower school children who absolutely love to see him. There's so many little kids that it just brightens their day and you can see it in their face and they get super excited. To a lot of them, more than people realize, they think it's a real dragon and they get so happy because there's this mystical creature in front of them, right? I'll have kids come up and give me hugs and like, thank you, Draco. It's, it's really cool. He has really learned how to embrace the little ones. And so his interaction with the lower children here at the school is really exciting because they just gravitate toward him. They high five him, they hug him. I feel like Draco helps boost the school spirit by almost his presence in general. It gives a physical form to what the school stands for. It also just helps kids have pride in their school because they have a physical thing to be proud of and it really helps them exaggerate that sense of pride, if that makes sense. I think some of the good qualities and skills a mascot needs is primarily the first one, heat tolerance. You need to know how to deal with heat. On average, the suit is about 40 degrees hotter than the air outside. So when you get to some like 110 degree football games, those can get pretty intense in the suit. You have to bring the energy. The whole point of being a mascot is to pump the crowd up and get people excited. You can't be afraid of embarrassing yourself because I'm not Lucas anymore when I get in that suit, I'm Draco. You can't be afraid to do things while you're in the suit. At the school, I'm also a part of varsity swim team. Left toe, heel. I'm also part of the John Cooper School's musical productions every year. I'm a member of one of the clubs at our school called Active Minds is a organization that is helping to reduce the stigma around mental health. NCA, the National Cheerleaders Association camp, is a camp that uh, John Cooper attends every year where the cheerleaders and the mascot get to learn from some professional cheerleaders and athletes and mascots and try to make their skills get better. Lucas is winning the NCA Most Spirited Award for a mascot at this year's camp competition was really exciting. This is the second year that he has won the award. It's basically given to the mascot that exudes the most spirit and energy and passion, right? Because when I get in that suit, I'm no longer me, I'm Draco, and I have to be energetic and passionate, and I think that's what that award is for. And among the cheer team winning the championship at camp as well, we have a championship winning mascot, which just makes our spirit program all that much more exciting here at Cooper. He is the epitome of a mascot in the sense that he represents our school with great distinction and pride. That's exactly what I aspire to be. I wanna be the most spirited person here because that's my job, I'm the mascot. I have to be the most spirited person. And so I think the fact that that got recognized is really cool. One, two, three, go!